Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to calculate car loan payments in Microsoft Excel. This is going to be done through the payment function, which calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. As most car loans are relatively short, they're usually fixed interest rates. Therefore, this function is applicable. We'll talk more about these parameters that we need shortly so do not worry about them too much right now. Let's begin by creating a small table that will become our car loan calculator. We will need the purchase price of the vehicle, how much money we want to put down upon purchasing the vehicle. We'll add a row for if we want a trade-in value, if you're selling your current vehicle to the dealer, a subtotal for the amount of the loan that we actually need to finance, meaning the purchase price of the vehicle minus our down payment and minus our trade-in. This will be the amount of loan that we are essentially borrowing from the dealer in exchange for interest on that loan. Lastly, we need to know the interest rate of the loan that we are going to be taking from our lender. Usually this is either going to be a bank or the car dealership itself. And the number of years over which we wish to repay the loan. Let's begin by calculating our monthly payment on this loan. I'm just going to throw in a few values here now. We now need to call our payment function, which we do by selecting this cell and typing equals PMT open parentheses. At this point, Excel will tell you which argument it wants filled. Just as a quick side note, if you ever do not know what an Excel function does or what arguments it's asking for, you can simply click on this blue link here and a help window will open explaining the function and all of its arguments. As you can see, our first argument is the rate. This is our interest rate per payment period. This is not our 4.49% that we listed above as that is our yearly interest rate, also sometimes known as APR, annual percentage rate. This is what most lenders will advertise. As we are trying to find our monthly car payments, our interest applied to each repayment will be 1 12th of our APR, as there are 12 months in a year. Therefore, for this argument, we'll enter our APR over 12. Next up, we have NPER, which is a number of repayment periods over the length of the loan. So, if we were looking to make monthly payments, then our number of repayment periods will simply be 5 years times 12 months, meaning in total we will have 60 payments. The last required parameter that we need to give our payment function is the amount of the loan. This is our calculated amount from earlier that we said was our total amount we needed to finance. So let's just click that cell now. Our last two parameters are both optional and are not needed in this example. Finishing out our parentheses and hitting enter will get the monthly amount of our loan is $400 a month. But how much interest are we actually losing by financing this vehicle? Well, fortunately, this is very easy to find. To calculate the cost of this loan, all we need to do is multiply our monthly payments by the number of months that we are paying the loan. So, 5 years times 12 months times our monthly payment. Therefore, the total loan cost will be $24,043.63. The amount of interest we will pay will be the total loan cost minus the amount we initially financed. This works out to about $2,500 lost to interest. At this point, we are basically done with our basic car loan calculator, and we can begin playing with some of our variables. For example, let's say that we want to get a better interest rate of, say, 2.49%. This results in a small reduction in our monthly payment, but as you can see, our interest loss to our lender is almost cut in half, 
which makes sense as our interest is also cut in half. If you wish to calculate our bi-weekly payments instead of monthly payments, all you need to do is repeat our PMT function using 26 instead of 12, as there are 52 weeks in a year, and we said we are going to be paying every two weeks. 52 divided by 2 is 26. Obviously, you could automate this calculator through Excel's many features and functions, such as adding drop-down menus for payment frequencies, or calculating whether it is better to invest your spare money in the stock market, or pay off your car loan quicker. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to make a basic car payment calculator in Excel. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.